When I'm cutting a silhouette, I feel the person. I become them for that one moment. It's an instant feeling. The person's in shock. So I'm feeling it. I'm seeing it. It's four dimensions. It's not three. A camera's two. We're three, and I see the soul. So I'm doing all four. I'm Cindy Rose, and I am a silhouette artist. This is my magic wand. I started drawing when I was a little child, probably three years old. My mother was an architect and an artist, so I would sit by her side and I would draw everything and paint and we had watercolors and then the neighbors started paying me. It would be 50 cents or cookies, but they would pay me to draw their dog or their house. And by 16, somehow I was drawing everything, painting everything, and people were paying me a little bit more to do it. And Astroworld came to Houston and they were looking for a cashier for the artists. And I said, I don't wanna be a cashier, but I, when I heard the word artist, I thought I'll bring in my portfolio. Maybe I'll be hired as an artist. So I brought in my portfolio of faces and they said, oh, this is really good, but we don't draw in pencil. Then they said, oh, wait, wait, we have something even better. We have a silhouette artist. And they took me to the front of the park. Then they're like, show her what you do. There's only 13 in the world. We had to fly them in from France. So the man cut out someone's profile with something like this. This is black and white. But I said, I can do that. And they're like, huh, sure, no one can do it. And they threw this stuff at me and they're like, do me. And they sat there and I just kind of did something and they looked at mine and his and mine and his and they're like, you're better than him. He's fired. And then that was that. When the scissors were invented, someone decided to cut something out, a profile, and it was a portrait artist. And once they did that, they realized how fast and immediate it was. And there was a French minister of finance named Etienne de Silhouette, who realized silhouettes were less costly than a portrait. And so he pushed them and they became the rage, but they were called shades. I feel good that I'm able to give art to people who have zero money or people who have money. I can do it for fundraisers and still be a, a wife, still be a mother, still do charity work that I'm able to do it all and have a career and go places with my scissors and I can go anywhere I want. I'm very happy that I can impact people's lives one silhouette at a time. Art needs to speak to the other person and if it, you can do that as an artist, if you can open up somebody's rose colored glasses and you can make them think then that's art.